Lama goes, uh, Saturday guys, what we are talking about is Pokemon Go! Now, Pokemon Go is a very, I guess, widespread kind of thing that is very big, specifically in basically every country it's been released in. I'm, I'm not sure what countries it has been released in, but I know that there's a couple. There might just only be one, but I know there's something. Something there, guys. Because, yeah. I actually just got this hat today. It, it just came in. It looks very nice. I love it. Two bits. If you guys don't know what Pokemon is my favorite, it's Squirtle. Just because, you know, he's a cute little turtle. Cute little turtle. Yeah. Alright. Um, and, um, I'm yellow team. So, yeah, yellow team. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm part of yellow team if you guys have not caught on by, uh, that shirt reference right there. Um, but the thing that confused me about this hat right when I got it. This is not related to Pokemon Go at all. But, um, is that the hat has this little net thing. And I, I don't know. I think it might just be because it's like a snapback and it's supposed to hold the shape or whatever. But, you know, I got too much fabulous hair right now. And we're not trying to mess up my brand new hat that literally just came in the mail today. So, let's not do that. <laughs> but, Pokemon Go is a very addicting game. When I say addicting, I mean addicting. The game I itself... The servers crash a lot of the time. Um, a lot of stuff happens with the servers and shit like that. But there are a lot of specific things about Pokemon Go. But it, in itself, it is a very addicting game. Because, you know, the saying, You gotta catch them all! That has... It, fuck. <laughs> that has a play in it. That makes people, well, like, really want to catch them all. Right? And then it makes... It's very competitiveness, especially with the teams and all that. With what you're doing in the game. When you collect all your Pokemon, it is very, like, majority that you don't, you don't hack the game. If you hack the game or you do anything to where you, like, get all this stuff for, like, like, you get, like, a ton of great balls and you get a ton of ra raspberries, um, like, a ton of, like, that kind of stuff. A ton of lucky eggs and stuff like that if you don't legitimately earn them or whatever. It kind of loses a lot of value in the game, but what I would suggest is just doing a full, clean playthrough of the game. Going through all that grinding, because grinding is one of the toughest things in the game, is you have to grind so hard just to find the value of Pokemon. But that's a thing that is within the game. The game itself, of course, it does track your GPS, so in order for you to actually play the game, you have to have a working GPS system, otherwise it's not going to work on your on your phone or whatever. Um, but... You know, in all in itself, it's a very fun game to play. I would suggest it if you have nothing better to do. Um, especially if you're just a kid with your summer off, like me, and you have nothing to do. There's nothing better to do. And it's just like, well, I get to go out, get to catch some Pokemon. But a necessary thing is one of these, like, these, like, portable chargers. That is a necessary thing. I actually have this one charging over here. It's actually my mom's. Um, not mine. <laughs> but... It's like a necessary thing is for you to have a portable charger now because it, with your phone, most phones generally the GPS like just gnaws, like takes these big ass bites out of the battery, and it just gnaws straight through. Like you'll be on like Pokemon Go for maybe an hour or an hour and a half, right? Some of you that may seem like long, but when you're grinding for Pokemon, it is not long. It is the shortest time possible. Like plain and simple, shortest time. Like, it takes forever to get the good Pokemon, unless you find those assigned, like, because there are spe specified, um, Poke spawn points. Poke spawn points. There we go. Uh, yeah, those specific spots are where, like, certain type of Pokemon spawn, and of course, um, like, actually, there's supposed to be a ton of Pikachu over by, uh, the north side of Chicago here, and actually, my friend caught one over on the north side so i mean yeah and i've seen a lot of people get a lot of pikachu just over by the north side so i mean over by homo park so that's just like a thing that you have to deal with within the game is just these like assigned spawn points like around me i mean i believe around everybody else too there's a lot of ratatas and a lot of pidgeys most people in the united states if they live in it's like city type i'm pretty sure those will probably be most of the things that you run into. I run into a lot of zoo bats now too as well. Um, but that's really about it that I run into on a daily basis. Other than that, it's hard to find. And those eggs, 
they get you running because you have to walk or you have to run or you have to get on a bike or you have to do whatever in order to open the eggs and get some kind of rare thing. Uh, so far, I've had a, I literally have a bajillion, not, not a bajillion, I have about, I have nine eggs, right? One is ten, all the other ones are all five kilometers, every last one. That irritated me, but as as it evolves, if you get a two kilometer egg, um, it is most likely just a very common one. If you get a five kilometer egg, it's narrowed down to a less of a common, but it's like just mainly uncommon ones. And then uh, when you get a ten kilometer one, that's mainly just the rarer ones. But it would suck, desperately suck, if you did the ten kilometer one and you just got like a freaking zubat. That would suck. Not even a gold bat, a zubat, and it would just suck. So bad, but yeah. If you guys want to give me your guys' team, I want to know what team you guys are on specifically because I just joined Team Instinct on a whim because somebody just told me as I was going on my first Pokemon hunt ever, just like, hey, join the yellow one, join the yellow team, and I was just like, okay. And I was on my bike about to go Pokemon hunting for the first time, and I was just like, I reached level five right at the end of my Pokemon hunt. for an hour and a half. I was Pokemon hunting. And it was just like, all right, I'll, I'll join the yellow team. Cool. <laughs> and that's all I did was join the yellow team. So I want to hear what team you guys are part of. Of course, Team Instinct isn't much within it, but Team Mystic and Valor, of course, are more into the battling of each other. But I want to know what you guys think. Of course, tell me what you, what <laughs> what Pokemon you guys have caught. And what is the best, what, best spots if you guys are from Chicago or anywhere, really. If you guys can see, a uh, fuck, I don't know how to say, it. Gardos, Gar Gardos. Fuck, I'm probably gonna get so much hate because I can't say that. Um, I might be right. I don't know. Um, it's the evolved version of Magikarp. Of course, Magikarp evolved is apparently op it, well, apparently no, op as fuck. Obviously, obviously, but. There's a lot of other ones that, you know, you evolve. You evolve a ton of them. They mainly don't give you shit. But one thing I would suggest to all you Pokemon Go players is, of course, you power up your thing as much as you can, really, until you want to evolve it. Because once you uh, once you power it up so much, um, it'll have, like, what, like 300 or something or, like, whatever you have at the time for that. It'll have that much CP combat powder. Power. Power. And that amount will be trajected into, you know, and it'll be multiplied, multiplied like by two or something or whatever to get a more of a better combat power for when you evolve it to the next level of evolvation, which is one thing I would definitely suggest for the Magikarp because, of course, Gariados, Gariados, I'm probably not going to be able to say that ever in my life, but... That Pokemon is very, very, very OP. If you get to evolve your Magikarp so much that you can get it to possibly um, like 1,000 and a half CP or 2,000 CP, that would be amazing. Plain amazing. But again, tell me you guys' teams down below. And thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you all so much, guys, for tuning in this video. If you guys liked it, please comment down below. If you guys didn't, then I do not know. But without further ado, guys, adios, amigos.